he was supposed to. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> what's up, Internet World? What's up? News 19 Nerds here. I'm Avery. Mortal Kombat! Guess what, Michael? What's up? Your views are still off. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. we are doing our review for the 2021 Mortal Kombat movie put mm -hmm. out by Warner Brothers on theaters and HBO Max day and date. Yeah. Um, I mean, just off the top, non-spoiler alert type stuff first. Right. I thought this movie was completely okay. And that is me being generous. And I think that's mainly because I like Mortal Kombat so much. Here's a hot take. Yeah. And I realize this movie... This movie has better production values than the 1995 movie. Yeah. I would watch that again before I watch this again. The 90s movie, I don't know if it's just it's, nostalgia. It's campy and it's, I, I, it's bad, but I love that movie. It's 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 a classic. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. This was, I mean, like you said, great production value. St like, I wish I felt more connected to the characters. Like, if I if I had never played Mortal Kombat in my life... I want to, I would love to get somebody to take who had never played Mortal Kombat to see what they thought of this movie. Yeah. Because this definitely felt like a movie that is introducing stuff to people who had never played it. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of Easter eggs in it, and we'll get into that in the spoilers. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's completely fine. Um, I think the fighting is okay. Um, yeah, for for the bit of fighting that we had, it, it was all right. Um, yeah. I thought the first sequence that had... They had leaked out in line be online before it came out with uh, Scorpion Sub Zero. Hanzo I, Hasashi. Yeah. I thought I thought that was great. That's one of the best ones yeah. in the movie. Um, maybe. Spoiler alert! It might be the best one of the movie. <laughs> I mean, it might be. It's definitely one of the top, but yeah. you know, it doesn't. Um... So rank ranking just these movies. Are we still going with the three movies? First, the Mortal Kombat is still our favorite. Uh, it is, just because, yeah. and again, I know this is a better put together movie probably mm -hmm. overall, but that one just, it, held, it holds a spot in my heart because I saw it when I was a kid. It, it just, it hit, it hit all the right notes. And it gave us the Mortal Kombat song. Yeah. yeah. Which, even if you didn't watch Mortal Kombat, you heard the song. You know right. the song. You've been so. in a gym somewhere. You've been <laughs> right. somebody's tag somewhere. Right. It has cranked for you before. So, I mean, that, <laughs> that's, that's my number one. Yeah. I'll put this number two. Yeah, and that's only because you. Annihilation was so garbage. Oh, my God. Mortal Kombat Annihilation is so hard. And you <laughs> we will die. <laughs> oh, Sindel, oh, man. They did you wrong. I don't know the actress. You got done wrong. Oh, yeah. I feel bad for you all the time. You have to think about that. That, that was that was terrible. So, yeah, overall, okay movie. It's clearly to set up more movies. I do hope that it made enough money in theaters so that we get sequels because uh, they had already reported the guy who plays Sub Zero, Joe Taslim, mm -hmm. he said he signed on, signed on to do four more movies. And he was great at Sub Zero. So I think he was. I yeah. think he was. Um, I think everybody that was picked for their characters were great. Uh, you and Leroy were talking about it upstairs. Mm -hmm. Kano was a standout. Absolutely. Kano was the standout. Stole, I enjoyed it. about every scene he was yes. in. <laughs> I don't know how much his stuff was actually written versus ad lib, but everything he said, I was like, yep, that's so dumb. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do it indeed. Keep it going. Um, uh, what's guy that guy named Josh Lawson. Josh, Josh Lawson, which I know him from, um, uh, was a show with uh, Don Cheadle and uh, Kristen Bell. It was on Showtime. Oh, uh, not 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 something Mad Monday. It was uh, yeah, that was the like second on, show. Whatever that show was, I know what you're talking about. He was on that show. I liked him on that. Y'all know what show. He was, was also he had a few episodes in Superstore that I really liked. Yeah, I like Josh Lawson. He hmm. he, he killed it. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah, you. Who's uh, your standout? Was it Kano? Kano's still my standout. I um, what's my man's name? We, I you just said his name earlier. The guy who played Scorpion. Um, uh, ooh. Hiroyuki Sanada. Yeah. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, yeah. him. As Sub Zero was was perfect to me, uh, I thought it brought some realism, such connection. Cause Sub Zero, I mean not Sub Zero, Scorpion has such a, a like a deep, House of Lies. That was the show. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Scorpion has such a deep, like it's so much pain that comes from the origin sure. of his story. I thought he presented that well. Mm -hmm. uh, the revenge that he, he he brought was well too. I thought uh, was uh, what's his name Joe who played Sub Zero. I thought he did great as as well too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those three my standouts. Yeah. Kano, Sub-Zero, and Scorpion. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of all the positives. I, 
I enjoyed the, the Easter egg references in it. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed, excuse me, the, definitely the beats with Scorpion and Sub-Zero hit the best. I think they did a good job of establishing that so mm -hmm. that way when we see those characters later, it, it kind of pays off and you feel for them and what happens. Yeah. Um, the main character, the guy who's supposed to be like the audience character, the mm -hmm. audience surrogate, I did not care about him. Mm -mm. Um, what's, his, what's his name? Cole Young, Cole right? Cole Young. Yeah. Do not care. Right. And I, 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 I got that he was supposed to... Mortal Kombat! That's Continue. You want to say something on the... You want to give your quick thoughts? It was okay. Okay. I like the first one. Yeah. I like this one too. Yeah. Could have been better. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's our uh, DLC character. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, yeah. But yeah, Cole Young, he was just... I don't know that you needed somebody to be the audience character. Yeah, because... I, it's like a tug of war with this movie. You got so many people who's been who's watched the early movies, who's played the games with so much story and character building for so long. Mm -hmm. I know you got people who might have never even played the game, looked at the movie, might have never even heard of Mortal Kombat trying to be introduced to this. But mm -hmm. it's just like, Liu Kang is right there if you want to make somebody the... And, I mean, so what would you get this out of, out of five, whatever you want to do? Uh, if I'm Dave Metzler, Metzler and this was a wrestling match, <laughs> i give about... Three and a half stars. Um, yeah, I'd probably give it um, three bicycle kicks out of five or something. Mm -hmm. that's about, yeah, pretty much. That's about it. Because, I mean, like you said, the production's, the production's fine. Uh, and this movie, I, I think, is under a $100 million budget overall. Uh -huh. I think the special effects look pretty good. There are sometimes they were a little kind of eh, but for the most part, I think the special effects worked and everything. I wonder how much of that uh, budget was just for Sub-Zero special effects. It probably was at least the, 55%. The, the ice effects look great. Yeah. The fire, not so much, but the but the fire was really good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's get into spoilers. Spoiler talk. Where where you want to start? Um. Okay, let's start off from the beginning. Uh -huh. um, with Scorpion's backstory, we see that he's killed by Sub Zero. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this Sub Zero is Behan. As, as this is the original Sub Zero, Behan. Yeah. Yep. Uh, which was di didn't it didn't really catch me off surprise because I was like okay they're going in that direction. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that just means in the next movies we get the second Sub Zero. I forgot what. Uh, I don't know Sub Zero or whatever. But I'm thinking this since since we can could jump or whatever. But since Scorpion killed this Behan, mm -hmm. I, I think they definitely set up Noob Sabat for oh, sure. Oh yeah. Uh, like because that guy's dead now, so now he's got to come back as Noob Sabat, which yeah. would be cool. Uh, and you kind of, they kind of set it up a little bit because he takes off his blue armor mm -hmm. and he's wearing all black. It's like, yeah. all right, that might be a little nod to Noob Sabat, so that's cool. Yeah, I, but, I, I um, really dig that. Yeah, I, I think the the choreography and, and a lot of the fights were really cool. This this first fight was great with uh, yeah. uh, Scorpion, um, Hanzo Hasashi, wrecking shot with these people. Uh, going through with that rope dagger and just getting them. It was, it was great. Um, I... Don't know how I feel about this little female baby being left alive. To, I guess it's cool because you keep the bloodline going. That seemed, mm -hmm. I don't know. I almost wish we had seen maybe more of Hanzo's bloodline before we got to Hanzo, before we get to Cole Young. I like, like I was uh, saying to y'all earlier, this movie could have been, the first 30, 35 minutes could have just been dedicated to Scorpion and Sub-Zero's like, history. The, yeah. How the two clans, how they like had the had rivalry going. What was like the the breaking point to to do this? Yeah. Like let me connect much more. So I just say like, I feel bad because he lost his family, but yeah, I was only with his family for like two or three minutes. Yeah, so. but pretty much, yeah, they was gone. Yeah, <laughs> they got frozen. He out there getting water. It's Oof. yeah. Um, so then we get to Cole Young. Yeah, and I guess this is to, to base it in realism or, or to ground it. You make him an MMA fighter. That's fine. I think that maybe that might be partly what threw me off. Not that he's an MMA fighter. It's just that when I think of the people in Mortal Kombat, I don't necessarily necessarily think of anybody using MMA. Now, to be fair, I don't know everybody's fighting style, but it kind of seems just more uh, animated and more yeah. more movement. And it just it's not as defensive oriented sometimes as maybe MMA might be for me. Yeah. And so I feel like that kind of threw me off a little bit with Cole Young. Also, apparently, he's not even good at it anymore. He used to be a champion. That was weird to me. I'm just like, okay, so he lost his fire? So yeah, I, I wish they kind of went into why he wasn't as good as he used to be. He's kind of washed up or whatever. Mm -hmm. I did like that the um, the guy brought up that he beat up uh, 
Eddie Tobias or whatever. Oh, yeah, it was named after... Uh, yeah, Ed Boone and John Tobias. Mm -hmm. Like, I like that. That's cool. And that's yeah. again, that's a little reference for people who know the Mortal Kombat stuff. Yeah. Um, See, if I, if, I, if I had created something like this and they wanted me to make a movie about it, every other minute you get an Issa egg. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna know I threw everything at, yeah. at, 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 at the kitchen sink. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought that was cool. I didn't realize at first until um, I was watching some videos about Easter eggs. The Johnny Cage poster was right there. Um, at oh, the from beginning? the beginning. Yeah. Oh, okay. With Citizen Cage. Yeah. So, but and I'm also so excited to see. I wonder who they're gonna have uh, Johnny Cage. At. Yeah, they didn't give us a face, so they can cast whoever. I like yeah. it. Um, and he got the belt buckle, like his Mortal Kombat was that Mortal, I guess since 9 and up or whatever. He yeah, came back in. he got a cage The on cage him. belt buckle, uh, yeah. So from that fight scene, we see Jax pull up. He sees Cole fighting. Um, did we, I, well, they show later on about how they've been tracking everybody who's had the, the marks and stuff like that, which is. <laughs> so, yeah. Sonya reminds me of. You know the meme with uh, Charlie Day from Sunny in Philadelphia where he's always oh, tracking yeah. everybody with everything? That's what Sonya was. Got, it's man. all connected. You're here and you're here. It's like, all right, that's fine. Whatever. It's and great. And since you brought that part up, it was so cool because we saw uh, Nightwolf. Yeah. We saw Nightwolf in, on one of the posters. Mm -hmm. We saw Kodo Khan on one of the posters. I'm trying to think if we saw anybody else. Um, I can't remember. Not sure. But I know at least for, for those two. Yeah. So, yeah. Then all of a sudden, Nightmare Fuel Sub Zero finds them. And <laughs> listen, I'll watch a whole movie dedicated to Sub Zero, like a horror movie. And Sub and I was watching somebody else who did their review. Mm -hmm. um, the guy's name is Maximilian Christensen or Christian, uh, Maximilian dude, mm -hmm. a, a big fighting game YouTuber or whatever. Mm -hmm. He was talking about it, and to him, it, he Sub Zero reminded him of like a, a Jason. Type character in the horror yeah. movies, like that's an interesting take on it. To, to just he's just continually stalking prey. Mm -hmm. You don't really see that because I think in most Mortal Kombat retellings now, the first Sub Zero is a bad guy. Yeah, it's like um, they already have that that Sub Zero. So it, it is a cool idea of like, oh, this guy is just he's just stalking his prey no matter what, taking everybody out. I like mm -hmm. that. I kind of wish we had seen him take out more characters, maybe, yeah. and they and they didn't have to be Mortal Kombat characters, just other people who had the mark. Oh, yeah. To see him, like, oh, he's really going through everybody. Yeah, that was, see, it's like, that's what you, that's what you get when you try to cram so much in your first movie. Mm -hmm. Like, take your, like, take your time mm -hmm. in establishing big characters. Yeah. Then slowly draw them in. Yeah. You know? but, they, they introduce a lot of people in here just to kill them in the first movie. Yeah. Um, now, Mortal Kombat does have the thing of people can come back as Revenant, the zombies. Right. So, so they, they can come back in the second one. That's why I wasn't tripping too much. Yeah. Even though... We are in the spoilers. Kung Lao got killed so oh, quickly. Yeah, um, and Leroy brought him up. Brought him, he did get to fight a little bit, so that was cool. But I kind of wish he got a dope fatality. He, <laughs> flawless victory. <laughs> and again, that that was one of the effects that was like, oh, this is great. This is a good fatality. It's like, yeah. yep, I've seen this fatality before in the game. Mm -hmm. And they were so detailed in, in showing the anatomy of the split down skull. Like, oh, uh, poor poor Natara. Mm -hmm. It was cool that she was in the movie, and then she died. Yeah. Like, oh. I, I think she hadn't been in a game since an, uh, like a Deadly Alliance or something. Yeah, maybe, something yeah, like that. yeah, probably. Yeah, um, yeah. It was cool to see her. She was gone. Uh, General Rico, or whatever. We ain't seen him in a minute. I didn't even know who that was when uh, uh, they brought him. Up. I was like, who is this? I was like, I he got the he, hammer. He I think he was in four, maybe, mm -hmm. but. Fans of the, of, the, of the genre will let us, of the franchise will let us know. But I think it was four. Now, how? Oh, this, this is a lot to unpack. I'm glad y'all with us for it. Uh -huh. When the bad guy showed up to Raiden's temple, and I'm so mad at Raiden because he was basically a glorified Uber in the movie. He ain't do nothing. He did nothing. Not a mm. yeah. He was, he was nothing. So bad guys show up. They're all fighting each other. Bad guys whoop everybody. Then they then all the good guys come back. I love that they brought the pit into this movie. That was cool. What I hated. You ain't do a fatality. A stage fatality. You ain't yes. Do a stage fatality. Yes. It, it was, was right there. You bring the pit. I'm definitely thinking, and it was cool to see Jax do his head pop fatality. That's cool. But if you're going to bring the pit, you got to knock someone off. You got to fall on the spikes. You got to use the pit. That's what the pit is for. It's almost like Jax didn't know the code to make it happen. So he's like, <laughs> yeah, let me just do another yeah, one or something. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that, oh. that, that was nice. Oh, my um, I kind of wish we had almost, once they had introduced the pit in my mind, I'm kind of thinking, I wish we had gotten more stuff from other stages throughout Mortal Kombat. Like I would have loved to have seen a version of the Living Forest or whatever or something mm -hmm. like that. That would have been cool. Yeah, they got to bring in the, um, oh, what's that garden or like that temple? I know they got the Monk Temple. 
um, uh, I think Scorpions, like, like it's like some Ninja Garden or something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, the Soul Chamber. Yeah. I, this is the thing. The games have been going on for so long and spoiled us with so many stories. Yeah. I know we have high expectations for a Mortal Kombat movie. I know everything can't get transferred into cinema, but it's just like when it's right there. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't put somebody on a pit, you're knocking them off. You, you put them through the spikes. Otherwise, y'all could have just fought in the void. Is exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um. So go on. Uh, how did how did you feel about the the champions are known by the tattoos and they have to get the tattoos to get the powers? That was weird. I felt like that was an attempt to make the movie more realistic or something. Yeah. Like, well, let's let's explain it with the birthmark, and then the birthmark will actually get your special powers. I was like, man, you got Outworld and Earthrealm. Just be wild and stupid. Yeah. And just be like, you got special powers. Sure, whatever. I, I didn't need no backstory about you having to develop the power. Uh, I don't know. Right. I didn't uh, need it. No, that, that didn't, wasn't necessary. Um, I did like, though... Because it, I, I didn't like that overall, but I did like because of that conceit. Then Melina didn't kill Sonya at first. Like, mm, now nah, you're not you're not a champion yet. Yeah, no, not, not right. cooked yet. Not cooked yet. I ain't worried about you. <laughs> um, so that was cool. Um, but you would kill her anyway. So why don't you just kill her? That's that's the point it. that was weird. It's like, you but you just kill people. You, right. you, you can kill her. It's fine. Just... You're you're a killer with a conscience or with a code. That's fine, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I really enjoyed um, Liu Kang's little sweep over and over against, uh, Kung, oh, yeah. against Kano. I was like, yep, just like the first game. That was great. And then Kano jumped over it for a second. Yeah, that was cool. Thought he had him. Yeah. Um, what um, else? I think uh, when Kung Lao did his uh, teleportation. Thing, oh, the, how, how he was introduced? Oh. That was cool. I was oh, like, my gosh, okay. man. And the movie was weird, right? It would get you hyped, like, here we go. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Oh, okay. You just teased me, but you ain't you ain't doing the full thing on uh, here or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. Big old tease. Basically. That, that was dope. Uh, yeah. Maybe the training that they did to get their powers, I thought it was okay. Mm -hmm. I knew I couldn't, we couldn't just have it like, oh, now they just got their powers. But I feel like it could have been a little bit more interesting. I kind of wish the fights were, um, we had... The fights were longer, yeah, and they like they had like multiple layers to them. And I guess to be fair, we got that with the beginning fight and then the end fight. Mm -hmm. Those those were long fights, drawn out fights with multiple layers and levels. Look, look who look and, look what the beginning and end of fight who who, who, who yeah the Scorpion fight. Sub Zero and they were great. Yeah, so I, we can't Scorpion Sub Zero best some best characters in the movie, mm -hmm. but you need to if it's a Mortal Kombat movie, everybody else needs to be at least close up to part of that, and it just wasn't. <laughs> so. Refresh my memory. Mortal Kombat 95. The tournament actually happened, right? Yeah, they yeah. went to Shanks and the tournament yeah, happened. It was at the island. This, so this happened all before the tournament started? Yeah. And the Elder Gods were just so lazy they just let it happen? I was like, is nobody monitoring this? Raiden, can't you talk to your daddy or another Elder God and be like, yo, y'all need to get your boy Shane because he's acting wild. Right, Shane was just like, the guys don't care. You see what I'm doing? Yeah, it's like, wait, what? <laughs> What's the point of this? Yeah. I don't know. Raiders and granted, by the rules. it's all fake and whatever, but still, in your movie, if you set these rules up, then I feel like I need an explanation for why the other gods didn't care besides the fact that they're lazy. Right. We just... Is there not no no person over there that regulates this stuff? That nah. guys don't send nobody? Nah. I was like, I did, And you, you bring up a good point. If Shang Tsung already said he's cheating and doing whatever, Raiden, you ain't got to follow the rules, bro. Right. Nobody's watching. Shang Tsung got away you, with it. He, you are, he said he did it for nine previous tournaments. Yeah. You, can, just, you can hit somebody with a little lightning. Yeah. Just a, just a little tap. It's um, fine. Uh, when it comes to character design, who do you think, uh, which one was one of your favorites? So, Leroy said that Ludi Lang as um, Liu Kang mm -hmm. looked like somebody from SNL. And I don't know who, who he was talking about. Oh yeah, I didn't know either. I, but see, I liked the way uh, Liu Kang looked personally. I thought I thought it was a good look. I thought he looked cool. I thought Kung Lao looked cool. Yeah. It reminded me of Sh uh, Shaolin Monks, the video game. I was like, yeah, Shaolin Monks. Yeah. Um, I thought I thought they looked good. Um, overall, I I think everybody looked like their character for the most part. Yeah, and just looking at this video that we're looking at right now, uh, we're just looking at clips from the movie. Yeah. Cabal, man, like. I, I really hope they bring Cabal back because yes. MK11 really made me like him more as a character. Mm -hmm. I thought um, it's the guy who who plays in Justified. I should have pulled that up. That's his voice in it. Okay. Um, let me just get his name. 
Timothy Olyphant. That was the main guy. Yeah, he's the one that uh, that played that does Cabal's voice. I thought it was great too. Yeah, um, it was somebody who I, I like that the casting choice, but I just don't think he lived up to what the previous version did. Mm -hmm. um, the guy who was Shang Tsung in this one. Yeah, what's he, my man? Oh, now I got I got to look it up again. My man, the original Shang Tsung is just that's him. That is him. It's I him. mean, even Mortal Kombat, the video game realized that when they brought him back to be the DLC character, like yep. you are Shang Tsung. Yeah. And this guy, he he did what he could, but it definitely wasn't the same. Mm -mm. Um, it's like yeah, you are not him. Nah, no, he didn't. He didn't seem that charismatic. I think that's and that's a lot. I feel like kind of. Kari Hiryuki. Yeah, Tagawa. Tagawa. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's Shang Tsung through and through, man. I kind of wish some of these people had somehow come back into as like guest stars or something in Mortal Kombat. Oh, the yeah. new one that would have been cool as whatever. Yeah. I don't know what they would have done, but I think that would have been cool. Robin Show could have came back as somebody. Yeah, for um, sure. All of them still look pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but if, if my boy uh, Kar Hiryuki. I'm sorry, I messed up saying. If he came back, he would have just stole the shine yeah. from the other guy. So. And I feel like, I guess, maybe it was an intentional choice by that actor to be different from the other one. Mm -hmm. He Maybe he wanted to be a little more stoic and menacing than because he kind of was a little hammy in the first one. I feel like that really played to that to that first oh, movie. Yeah. <laughs> right? Um, everything he said, was it was great. Uh, this guy, I think they did a little thing with his voice modulation too, so he kind of sounded a little demonic or something yeah. or possessed or whatever. Um when they were in Outworld, that looked bad. I looked at it, I was just I was like, like... Are they just outside of a trailer somewhere and they just put some, some... Something about the set of Outworld didn't look good to me. Yeah. I don't know. I was I was, I was confused. I was like, so they walked to Outworld? Yeah, I don't I don't know, man. Ken was just like, yeah, I know the way. Because apparently Shang Tsung can teleport people and Raiden can teleport people. It's like, you can just go wherever you want. It's yeah. whatever. I don't, I don't know. know. Oh man, this movie man, it's 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 a lot of good, a lot of bad for y'all yeah. who see it. Uh favorite part would definitely probably be the end fight scene. Yeah. The the scenery look cool. I hope uh whenever mm. they do another Mortal Kombat game they they bring that. I would love that. I need <laughs> and I, I didn't come up with this, I, somebody else said this, but mm. I love it. I need so you remember Mortal Kombat Annihilation, like Johnny Cage gets killed the first ten seconds of the movie? Yeah. So, like make that happen to Cole Young. <laughs> Get rid of Cole Young. Sorry, bro. I liked I liked Louis Tan and um and Wu Assassins. I thought you were good in that. I liked you in Into the Badlands. Mm. But uh, nah, bro. This ain't for you. Get rid of that character and bring in me more Mortal Kombat characters. I don't need an audience surrogate. It's, it's I don't need it. Something. What's your your armor skin looking like um like Batista off of uh oh, what was that movie with the RZA in it? The man with the iron. Face. Oh wow, yeah. That's what I he mean, looked like. And it was weird because it seemed like. His, his skin would get punched and absorb energy. Yeah. And I thought he was going to redirect it at people, but he didn't really do that. I was like, like why? He that you... Yeah, out. I was like, <laughs> why are you lighting up the skin there? What's the point? I don't know. And if if that was his power, why wouldn't it protect his head? For real? I was like, if I just hit you in the head, <laughs> yeah. you're done. God. Oh. Yeah. It's a lot of questions. A lot of questions, a lot of things that could be changed. I know we're coming off real upset, but I mean, I did enjoy the movie. It was entertaining. I want to see a sequel. Yeah. I mean, I did say that I would see 95 again over this, but if they made a sequel, I would go see it right now. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I just feel like y'all done the setup. Mm -hmm. Now y'all can go deep into it yeah. while holding back. Yeah. I need to see Raiden lightning striking people. I'm yes. talking flashing all through their bodies. I need I to need see a bobble over here flying through the air. Yeah. It? yeah. I love Luke Kane bringing in the dragon fatality. That was already. Cool. That was dope. Yeah. Um, he did the bicycle kick. That he was did. that was cool that was too. weird. Um, but yeah, it yeah. was cool. Uh, what else? What else I need to see, man? I need to see at some point whenever this Mortal Kombat series wraps up that the new Sub Zero, and I, so I don't even know. I guess they'll bring Scorpion back. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So them working together, it's. Y'all got a lot of work to do. Because they, they introduced uh, Shinnok's amulet. amulet. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I spazzed when I saw I that. I was like, oh, did you see uh, Katana's fan? Oh, yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. there we go. I was like, okay, so This is right. this, this nice. I got Shao go Kahn and stuff on the walls and the poster stuff. Like, mm -hmm. all right, this is cool. So y'all know y'all know the history for sure. Um, right. So I hope they get a chance to make a sequel. Right. I wonder if it's almost one of those things where the people who were creating it or writing the story... They had a they have a lot of love for the game. That's why we saw some of these Easter eggs. But Warner Brothers, maybe they held them back. Some saying, 
listen, you can't put all this into it. We don't know how this is going to go, so you, you yeah. got to work with this. Yeah. So, and you know what? I don't know if it's just that uh, weekly series have just kind of spoiled me. This might be better as a series. Do you remember the live-action Mortal Kombat series? Oh, wasn't it on, like, TNT or something? Yeah. Uh, it wasn't good, but, again... You're a younger kid, like I'll watch it. I ate it up. As some, it was it was Mortal Kombat mythology stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm like, I'll watch the Mortal Kombat story. It wasn't great, but it was just fun to watch because yeah. it was in the world of Mortal Kombat. So yeah, that was cool. Because to me, Mortal Kombat almost needs the budget of like your Game of Thrones type stuff. I mean, if they want to go wild with it, yeah. Yeah, because it's just because you want to be able to see like Adini, uh, Nether Realm, Outworld, all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. So many characters, so many places, so many just time to make us connect with this on-screen characters like we connected with them through the movies and stuff. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It, it'll be dope. And so then maybe one day they can do a, a super crossover and bring Justice League with it. <laughs> like what that game oh, was. Man, a video game? I mean, Mortal Kombat vs. DC or yeah. whatever? Woo! Buddy. If we get that far, man. Yeah, yeah a long way to go. Man. Yeah, pretty much. Um, that's it for us. Yeah, man. Like I said, um, Overall, it seemed like we were negative, but we, we did enjoy the movie, and we would see a sequel. Yeah, we, uh, we just love the Mortal Kombat material so much. We just we want just, more of it. Yeah. Yeah, pretty gotcha. much. Uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Do you want more of this? Are you happy with what they did in this? What characters did they have that you wanted? That, that What characters did they not include that you wanted to see, mm -hmm. and vice versa? If there were some characters that had in here that, that, could, that they could have taken out, let us know that as well. Uh, you can also find us here on YouTube, also Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, WOTX.com. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell when we put up new videos. We out. Get over here.